the fun thing about art therapy is that it is for absolutely every age. I know we're more inclined to think of little kids or adult or elderly adults, but um, especially things like um, an activity I love to do is spaghetti painting, where you literally have a handful of pasta and a handful of paint, and there's no prescribed way to interact with that. And you don't have to be an accomplished artist to be able to have that experience. When it comes to different developmental ages, I often just gauge the time. So obviously with younger kids, like in pediatrics, I'd stick to more 20-minute groups, very structured, very organized, doing step by step by step. Um, the younger they are, the more kinesthetic the activity is to keep them more engaged. Um, like even just making them stand up to do art on the wall versus on the table can help keep them with you. Um, and with the older ones, definitely more verbal processing when it comes to it, and the tasks can be more complex. One of my favorite resources is going to the kitchen. The kitchen is chock full of not only materials, but also different tools to help you facilitate the art making. I go towards dry goods, like pastas, beans, rice, that kind of stuff, because it'll stay. It won't get moldy and strange on you. If you're making things like salt doughs and clays and that kind of thing, of course, if there's moisture, there's going to be mold. Um, but other great materials in the house, you can look anywhere from your recycling bin to things like soap. Uh, a great activity is soap carving and making little totems or just stepping outside. Nature is full of so many fantastic materials, so you don't have to go to a fancy art store to be able to make some really awesome stuff. Art is a great opportunity to start verbal and nonverbal dialogues simply because it's a little bit less intimidating and it can be like a reward being able to sit down and make art with someone um, but often the different topics of conversation or um, the content of that dialogue isn't something that would naturally happen while like driving them to school or that sort of thing so art making creates an opportunity for the parent and the kid to sit down and have that experience it's sort of like setting that time aside where their attentions are with each other I actually encourage people to make ex mistakes because you learn a lot in that process. Um, art therapy is about the process, not the result. We're not trying to get into the Guggenheim. <laughs>